some of the smallest vessels in the fleet playing with the big boys. The P-2000 Archer-class ships are the Royal Navy's fast training boats. Primarily used for officer training and seamanship, four have come to Norway to take part in Exercise Tamber Shield. Working with 815 Naval Air Squadron and the Royal Norwegian Navy to develop the effectiveness of the ships and their crews. Today we're part of the Blue Forces, we're working alongside HMS uh, Exploit and also one of the Wildcat to try and uh, locate and destroy two of the Skull Corvette class ships. So we're currently hiding in a fjord at the moment and we're making our way slowly up the fjord in order to identify them, send off their location to the Wildcat so that they can be engaged. Essentially, it's a giant game of hide and seek along the Norwegian coastline. With these small, nimble ships, showing what the Navy's Coastal Forces Squadron can offer on deployment. This is the P-2000s like HMS Biter going into a more operational role. Traditionally, they've been used for training purposes and even naval engagement. But here they're working with the Wildcat helicopters and Norwegian allies to enhance their capability. Here the ships are working with partners in the Joint Expeditionary Force, but they've already proved their worth in working with NATO allies on Steadfast Defender, the largest NATO exercise since the Cold War. Today they're up against the elite ships in the Norwegian Navy. Slow stern boat. A big test for the ship's crew. Stop boat. OK, so with that one, our aim today, as I said before, is to um, is to find the skulls for the wildcat, so that the wildcat can relocate. So what we managed to do there was get the report out ahead of being sniped. As soon as we're sniped, we're out for that sortie of the wildcat. So we're going to have to wait till this wildcat lands and the next one launches, then we're back in, unfortunately. So by getting sniped by both of them and getting the call off, it meant that the wildcat is now transiting north to fire upon them. So next time, what we need to do is have two people closed up on the radio so we can get a snipe call away on Channel 69 and also get the report out with the last and long to the helo. This is the ships and sailors of the Coastal Forces Squadron going back to their roots, developing the fast boat operations and supporting their Royal Navy colleagues and allies around the UK and Northwest Europe, using their size to their advantage. Operationally, we can get into a lot smaller places, deeper into the fjords than the frigates and 45s can get in there. Um, so we can actually go out, deploy units to to the ground, um, obviously aiding towards the operational capability. This is the P-2000 ships stepping up, playing a more active role in supporting frontline operations. Enhancing their ability to work with colleagues in the Royal Navy, NATO, and in this case, the Joint Expeditionary Force, using these small ships to their fullest capability. David Sivils McCann, Forces News, on board HMS Biter in the Norwegian fjords. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.